What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to make a quick video letting you all know tomorrow, July the 9th at 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, we'll get a preview of the two dungeons that will be coming out with the Waking Flame DLC. Now that's going to be the quarter three DLC that will be out later this year uh, over on Twitch TV slash Bethesda. Like I said, July the 9th, which is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern, Community Managers Jess and Gina will be joined by uh, one of the kind of encounter leads a uh, fan who does a lot of stuff with them a lot of times when they kind of go over you know new content coming out uh, they'll be kind of showing off uh, the next kind of chapter into the gates of oblivion which will be the waking flame dlc they're going to kind of talk about both the dungeons uh set up some of the setting stories this is of course with no spoilers uh showcase some rewards preview some of the challenges you and your party will face in this dlc uh when it launches later this year they'll also be talking about some more eso news discuss the world plays ESO promo. Uh, of course, this is going to have some giveaways and so make sure you can link your Twitch account to this to be able to get Twitch drops. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see how these two new dungeons are going to kind of pan out uh, exactly what they're going to be, how they're going to tie in everything uh, with what we've had so far, uh, especially with Blackwood just coming out recently, of course, here on console, been out a little longer on PC, you know, a week or so longer. But just in general, I'm kind of curious to see how this next chapter is going to tie in. Now, I know a lot of people are not as excited when it comes to just dungeon DLCs. I enjoy them. I think some of the dungeon DLCs are a lot of fun. Some of the dungeons are really done really well, in my opinion. I know a lot of you are probably looking forward to that quarter four DLC, which will be kind of the final story that's going to wrap everything up for the year. But I am kind of interested to see what's going to go on with these two new dungeons, kind of see the design of them, hear about the rewards and things of that nature. But I'm also, uh, they're not really going to talk about this in tomorrow's, uh, you know, kind of preview, but I'm really going to be curious to see what changes uh, when this update does release in a few months. Of course, we all know how that usually goes. Every time we have an update in ESO, usually things get nerfed, buffed, changes come through. I'm kind of curious to see if changes are going to come through with any of the new gear sets. Diamond's Victory is one that I kind of think of off the top of my head because it is a pretty powerful set if used correctly. Uh, also, I was wondering if there are going to be any changes to Companions. And I'm also kind of curious to see within these last couple DLCs if we're going to get any new Companions. I think if we're going to get any, it would probably be in the Quarter 4 DLC. I'm not sure if we're going to get any more this year or maybe next year before we get some. Uh, but I'm just curious what you guys think. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Are you excited? Are you looking forward to some more new Dungeons to play with this uh, DLC? Like I said, they'll be out uh, in a couple months. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.